just a little bit. I'm grateful that I'm able to pay bills. I'm able to pay my bills, but I don't be wanting to pay my bills. I feel like they have the best store-bought donuts, but if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments down below. I'm just very grateful that I get to do this. Like, I'm a whole stay-at-home mom, and like I get to like be an esthetician. Good morning. It is Sunday morning, and I'm starting off a vlog. I guess a weekly vlog or a few days in my life. I think this will be a weekly vlog. Maybe a weekly vlog. But I want to vlog this week because my husband is about to go TDY and I want to make a video on how I prepare for when my husband goes TDY or when he goes on his deployments. So, since we've been together, since we've been married, he's done both TDYs and deployments. So, gone through all of that. I'll take you through this week. It's Sunday, which means we are prepping for the week. And y'all know if you've seen, is this on right? If you've seen my past vlogs that on Sundays I make like a Sunday dinner. Um, these past few Sundays I actually haven't really had to cook. So yeah, today will be jumping back into that Sunday dinner routine. Um, I also want to prep like meal prep. I used to I used to meal prep uh, also on Sundays, so I'd be in the kitchen like all day, which it was nice after the fact, but during I was like, man, I really love having my Sundays to just relax, but I know this is going to make my life easier, so I'm going to go ahead and meal prep as well as make the Sunday dinner. I just ordered a tripod for my car. My sister sent a link this morning and I bought it and it's supposed to get here today. So now I'm going to be able to vlog in the car without my camera slipping and sliding. This should be a nice eventful vlog. I think that's what I'll do like when I know things are going on I will vlog but like when I just know it's gonna be the same routine over and over unless y'all want to see that the same routine over and over then I won't do it but yeah I feel like this week will be kind of eventful so I think I'm going to go to Dutch Rose this morning because we're out of Nespresso pods and I kind of want to chai yeah and I feel like that will like give me energy like kickstart this sunday be productive get everything done type of thing so Last week, I think it was like Thursday, I went to go pick up my son and like I basically just shook out my hair and like not even shook out my hair. I took my scarf off and I went about my day at home and then I went to go pick him up and then later that evening I was sitting on the couch and I like felt the back of my head and it kind of felt like I had a park like and it was flat and I was like wow I went to school pick up looking crazy my hair looking crazy so now I'm trying to make sure the back it's kind of juiced hopefully hopefully when I watch this back it looks decent but it's Sunday and I'm gonna be in the house besides going to Dutch Bros but we're about to head to Dutch Bros I'm about to put some lotion on my feet and we're gonna go to Dutch Bros all right so I'm back from Dutch Bros the order that I got is basically a pumpkin what I ordered 
was basically a pumpkin chai, but I'm gonna give you the specific name. So I got the, I got a size small, the caramel pumpkin. So I got a size small because I noticed once you go up to medium in their drinks, it tastes like straight milk. So like I have a favorite drink that I get, a coffee drink. And if I order that in a medium, it tastes so milky and flavorless. So I, even though I would have liked to have a medium of this, I got a small because I didn't want it to be too milky. But it's good. But I'm gonna start on this reset my husband is about to start cooking breakfast and yeah if I feel like our new washers and dryers take forever to like do laundry and stuff so I'm gonna get started on that now it is 9 o'clock we're gone for you only like once life move fast and you do what you want What she put it up? Oh, oh. I
So this is what I do with our laundry. I just line it down the hallway um, just so I can easily just get it done. And this way, with it being in the hallway, I'm more likely to hurry up and do laundry because I don't want this all in the hallway. Believe it or not, it's not a lot of laundry in that hallway because I was on top of laundry uh, this past week. I was doing really good with laundry. so. That's not a lot of laundry, but it's like our new washers and dryers take forever to wash and dry. Like, yeah, so hopefully today I can just crank it out and get that done and out of the way. So basically this week will all be about prepping for my husband's TDY. While I'm here, I'm going to have as much help as possible. And that's part of the reason why I am gonna meal prep today which I've already started I've already got started on and I'm going to show you um, just simple stuff but basically like I wanted to jump in and meal prep today so that this week I can like make my checklist and really think about what more I can do to help help myself while my husband is gone my husband he helps a lot he does a lot because these are his kids too this is his house too so he does a lot like he definitely contributes more than monetarily to the household and so i basically need to come up with a routine which i already have one but i need to write it out again so that i can like help relieve like the stress on my mind so like the routine while he's gone i plan on making a list of activities for me and the kids to do while he's gone um yeah i'll get all into that but let's head to the kitchen so this is for tonight's dinner that's going and then we have some boiled eggs because we're gonna have tuna this week for lunch I don't even think this is enough tuna to be honest and then I started taking out these pans because I'm going to do like a breakfast casserole so that through the week I don't have to worry about cooking
my trust in you What will you do? Will you just step back? Will you duck it out? Will you be here to the end? I just wanna know if you my friend I just wanna know if you pretend it All right, so I made sure to purchase Grayson's uh, mask because he wants to be Cuphead for Halloween. So I made sure to purchase, purchase his mask uh, as soon as possible and it just got here. So I'm gonna show y'all that. But um, let me show you what I've done so far. So tuna, in the process of making the tuna, I need some more ingredients for the tuna. So yeah but i just have to peel those put those in and then whatever missing ingredients but i just at least want to get started there's that breakfast casserole the reason why that's not in the oven right now is because the oven has like this strong gas smell and i already got the oven cleaned um and now it's like the smell is back for the gas smell and so everything that needs to go in the oven i'm going to do it all at once so i don't have to smell that that gas smell for so long and then here i have the chicken that needs to be shredded so i'm about to shred that while she is preoccupied but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and shred the chicken and finish dinner this is dinner yeah let's get into this mask because i didn't even tell grayson that his mask was uh, on its way or that I ordered it because you know how kids worry you about stuff like they will they will worry you down about something that you mentioned like oh we were supposed to do this so we're supposed to do that whatever it was so I didn't want to deal with it yes y'all are crooked but anyways yeah I didn't want to deal with that so I'm gonna open this up yeah this will definitely fit on him so I'm about to grab him so that he can see let me lower this a little bit so that he can see his mask all right now look in the box it's a cupcake <laughs> yeah so that's part of your halloween costume we gotta get the other parts of your costume but yeah <laughs> do you love it do you yeah. like it yeah but guess what tinky key Said, if it's just fine, can you see? Yeah. Can you breathe? Yes. Show the camera. Yay! Yay! Cuphead! Mm -hmm. 
Let's go show your dada. I'm so glad that I put as many chicken thighs in this Instant Pot as I did because these chicken thighs shriveled up to basically nothing. Like, I don't know if I told y'all what I'm making, but I'm making like a cheddar biscuit pot pie. I guess it's fine that it's only a little bit. That means that it should all get eaten up and there be no waste. So I'm just gonna use one of these small cake pans for this pot pie. Pot pie. And then look at this floor. And then the cabinets. All because my husband gave our daughter an expo marker before he went to go take a shower like who does it but i do have to mop the floor so it's all right but if it would have got on the new couches the new couches he wouldn't have anybody else to blame but himself Hey everybody, it is Monday. Welcome back to the vlog. Oops. Welcome back to the vlog. I ran out of space yesterday so I couldn't show y'all everything, but I didn't even get to do a whole entire reset, which we have all week, so I guess. Um, but I did want to show a little bit different. I should have took y'all with us to the park this morning, but um, anyways. I wanted to show a little bit into my life. Like, um, yes, I'm a stay at home mom, but I'm also an esthetician and I have a couple of skincare orders that I need to take care of today. Uh, so yeah, I wanna show how I do that, which is very simple. Um, normally, so well, 
sometimes what I do just to hurry up and get it out the way is just like first thing in the morning, I'll take care of the skincare orders so that I don't have to worry about it, especially with the baby running around. Y'all know if you're a stay at home mom, but yeah, I'm going to show y'all. Yeah, I'm cooking and cleaning, but I'm also doing esthetician type things. My car mount, so close, sorry. My skin gets lighter in some areas. My car mount is here and I'm gonna try it out. It got here yesterday. I have no idea what I'm doing. What? I'm actually gonna wait until my husband gets here because, uh, yeah. Anybody else like with their food order, like DoorDash or Uber Eats and like any delivery, like they're tracking it and they don't go out there immediately because they don't want like the delivery person to know that they've been stalking their order. But my Nespresso coffee just got here, so I'll show y'all what I got. I also need to film that for TikTok too. Um, but yeah, I'll show y'all. I'm gonna get that, grab that in a minute. But these skincare orders, it's like, I'm looking for Instagram, but obviously I don't have Instagram on my phone. So I end up looking at my email. Luckily I did that because I had a skincare order and sometimes skincare orders come in and like it slips past me. So add this to the to-do list. This is the second client that was able to get a skincare set lower than what they were supposed to pay because for some reason I inputted the wrong amount and it's like, okay, basically I I didn't make a sale because they, yeah. So that's my fault. Um, and because that's my fault, I don't contact the client or a customer and tell them like, hey, this was actually this much because that was my fault. So I just bite the bullet. And so this week we're gonna go through my website and make sure all the prices are correct because I'm supposed to be making money, not like just giving away product. The only thing is I wish that this kept all of my clients' addresses in there. I think it only saves like up to four addresses at a time. And I wish it kept like all of the addresses so that I can just click on one and not have to type in everything again. Also, something else I wanna work on this week is sending out uh, the email about holiday kits because uh, last year those went fast and I wanna make sure everybody can get kits if they wanna get kits. Shout out to the websites that do the auto populate of the address because I do not be wanting to type all this in. All right, so this client, they ordered and I showed this on TikTok, so if you aren't following me on TikTok, then follow me over there. But this client ordered glycolic and retinol pads, and she also ordered the dark spots and uneven tone set. I'll leave them linked down below. All right, so half of her order is, oh, save. Half of her order is taken care of. So the next, um, my next client's order, they just ordered toner and it is a, a cucumber hydration toner. How are y'all remembering your passwords? Somebody tell me the key like to remembering your passwords. Do you write them down somewhere uh, and they're in a safety box or something? Like how are we doing this? The way my mind just starts when I'm trying to do stuff, because I have glycolic retinol pads in here and like I could easily just send them off uh, so I'm wondering like if I should ship them off or should I just these uh, clients uh, I wish they both lived in like my area um, that way I could just place 
everything together and then have them pick it up but but basically on the TikTok I think I'm going to start sharing my clients skincare orders with y'all also let y'all know like the benefits of those products that they're purchasing so that I just posted that today when we got back from the park I'm just very grateful that I get to do this like I'm a whole stay-at-home mom I'm a whole stay-at-home mom and like I get to like be an esthetician too I love being an esthetician like I'm so happy I figured out even though it was like when I tell y'all it was a very last minute decision it was very last minute I started doing that and I'm going to try to figure out this by myself first, this uh, car mount first. I do want to test it out, be able to test it out so I can be able to move with it. So I'm out in my car right now um, trying to figure out this car mount and I think my car, like the dash, is this what it's called, the dash? I think it's too high, so it would have to go like on the glass. And right now I'm like trying to do this, but also keep looking at the camera to make sure like my daughter doesn't wake up. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna wait until my husband gets home because now I know like, okay, I figured it out. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna wait till my husband gets home so that I can really do this and not have to worry about getting interrupted, so. Good morning. It's about to be afternoon, but good morning. It is Tuesday and I just placed a pickup order for tonight's dinner. So hopefully everything is in stock for tonight's dinner and more stuff. Um, we uh, went outside. I'll try to insert some clips to the side here, but we went outside and got some leaves where's that little bag yet oh it's by the front door because i didn't want my daughter to take them out of the bag because outside we were putting them in the bag and she kept taking them out and crumbling in them and stuff but we're going to do a little arts and crafts uh sometime this week maybe tomorrow with those but yeah i got out the house for a little bit and got the pickup order and now i'm about to do some work stuff uh, tracking numbers for my clients packages uh, someone booked like in the middle of the night somebody books an appointment so I need to send them an invoice and I was trying to wait until my daughter went to sleep but she's not going to sleep like so I'm guessing she's gonna fall asleep on the way to pick up my son which is cool um, I'll just bring the stroller so that I don't have to take her out of the car seat. But yeah, let's get into doing a little bit of work. <laughs> Look at my pretty girl. If you see food in her mouth, she stores it. I talked about this in a, another vlog. Excuse me. 
excuse the mess that's on the table. Like yesterday, um, I was able to send out one client's tracking link for part of her orders because she ordered from two. So yesterday I was able to send out um, one of my clients tracking orders, tracking numbers. Um, she is gonna have two tracking numbers because she ordered from two different skincare lines. And now I get to send out another client's tracking number. And this will be for her whole order. Um, I was able to fulfill one order and now I am about to send an invoice to this person uh, that booked an appointment, which I'm gonna do that through my phone because I'm already signed in there. So it's nice that I'm able to do this from my phone and stuff because clearly I have a baby on my hip. So let's go ahead and send this invoice. I just duplicate the invoices and uh, delete the previous client and no, add no, a different client. And I like to send it out as soon as possible so that they're not taking up a spot that somebody else can have. So if the invoice isn't paid like in a reason reasonable amount of time, then I try to hurry up and cancel their appointment so that somebody else can book that spot. Is pretty girl is down for her nap finally. So I could have waited to show y'all um, what I do for work some days, but I just filmed a TikTok that I wanna post today. So if I don't post it like right now, that's fine. I can post it later on in the day. Um, I'm about to jump into doing more laundry, just making sure nothing's come through on my email. I'm going to jump into finishing laundry yesterday i started laundry but uh, i want to finish it because i don't see how i kept up with laundry last week but then i went to do laundry sunday like start laundry on sunday and it's like it just felt like it's taken forever for me to get through laundry so yeah once i'm done with laundry today though i'm not gonna I'm probably not gonna do laundry again until Thursday because I just feel like I've been doing laundry every day. But yeah, laundry and I need to pay some bills. So I need to pay my phone bill. I need to do my car registration. I need to call and make my car payment. Might be some other stuff too, but we'll do that. But let's get into this laundry first. Yes, I do pay my own bills. they have a bigger size but even that one's kind of pricey I think I think it might be pricey but it's not always easy to find like that big size and I'm thinking about just like using a clear 
like a regular detergent that's clear for my daughter and just using these uh, scent beads in there. But again, look how small this little thing is. This baby draft is. I don't know, what you doing for lunch? Huh? Well, there's chicken here and there's still Popeye here. Too. One more after my daughter's clothes, I have my comforter, not comforter, my mattress pad that needs to be washed and that's it for um, laundry today. My son's bedroom has the best lighting, like the best lighting. For your kid's room, get them one of these things. Like my husband got it for our son and at night, they turn it off because my son gets scared of it. But I always like now I re I remember to come in here and turn it back on like when he goes to school, just so that his uh, so that his room smells fresh and clean because it can smell real stink up in here. But um, and today is like the first day that I just left the door open because my daughter she'll come in here and start trying to take everything. But today is the first day that I've let the door open, just like let the air circulate and stuff. It is crazy. I have a whole seven year old. <sighs> I'm grateful that I'm able to pay bills. And I'm able to pay my bills, but I don't be wanting to pay my bills. And what's weird is someone tried to sign into my uh, Verizon account. And it's like, why? would you be trying to why would you be trying to sign into somebody's Verizon account that's so weird my husband uh, called and he's about to come eat some lunch so let's heat up his lunch while I try to pay this bill Sunday, I made Cheddar Bay Biscuit uh, Hot Pie. I posted it on my TikTok already, obviously. And I think it's on my YouTube shorts. But um, yeah, so good. I tagged the person on TikTok that, whose recipe I followed. So if you're wondering what recipe I followed, I tagged them in my TikTok. So. Go find me on TikTok. The only thing that I did differently is they used chicken breast and I used chicken thighs because chicken thighs are so much better. And then I added the peas and carrots because I feel like chicken pot pie is supposed to have peas and carrots and their recipe didn't have that. So have been paid so I am about to so I accidentally bought chai tea bags instead of the Thai the chai concentrate 
So Sunday I boiled, Sunday I had boiled like all those tea bags at once to hopefully make my own concentrate. Hopefully this is concentrated, but I'm about to make an iced chai. Oh, and I realized I could show y'all my Nespresso order. Some of it's already opened, um, but y'all will still get to see what I ordered. So I'm gonna put ice in here and I'm going to fill the chai up to here some more just so hopefully it's strong. Hopefully this tastes good. It's still spilling. It smells good. So hopefully it's given chai. And then I'm going in with this pumpkin spice, pumpkin swirl cookie, just a little bit. Does it look good? Okay, it tastes good. That makes me happy. It tastes good. Yeah, so if you accidentally purchase the chai tea bags instead of the um, concentrate, like the Tazo concentrate or whatever concentrate, just boil all the tea bags at once. This was 20 tea bags and yeah and so it begins i taught my son he's seven years old um i taught him how to make his own peanut butter and jelly sandwich and now look at how much is left after he made his peanut butter and jelly sandwich so all right it's almost time we got like 10 minutes till it's time to leave to pick up Grayson, and so I'm just putting back on my top that I was wearing earlier. Pretty girl is still knocked out. Yeah, she's having a good nap right now, so that's good that she's getting her nap in. After pickup today, we're going straight to Walmart for the pickup order, and then I'm going to come home. We've been watching, uh, me and the kids, we've been watching Halloween movies um, almost every day in October. We skipped a few days last week, but like after school, we've been doing a, like a Halloween movie. So Grayson's going to pick out a Halloween movie today. I forgot which one he wants to watch today. So we'll do that today when we get home and... I'm just feeling so good this week. Like last week I was feeling so overwhelmed and then I was, uh, I forgot what the word is, overstimulated and stuff. There was one day that my husband got home from work and the gym. And when he got back from the gym, I left out of here immediately, went on a drive, parked in a parking lot and like was just jotting down ideas for videos and content. But yeah, I was overwhelmed. And this week I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, it just feels nice knowing that I can go pick up my son. And even though I have to cook dinner tonight, um, if I would have had the groceries already, then I could have fixed dinner and been done. But I love the days when dinner is all ready. I already did my cleaning and I can pick up my son and just focus on just focus on like being there watching the movie with my kids and not worried about the next thing so i'm just feeling really nice because laundry is almost done we're almost done with laundry but yeah and then homework too we've started 
practice. We've started doing homework on Sunday, like starting homework on Sunday, which I'm gonna show y'all what I'm talking about after pickup, but started doing homework on Sunday and like homework is pretty much done. Like yesterday we worked on part of his homework and I just have to go back and have him fix like a little bit of his story. But yeah, it's, he's doing amazing at reading, my son is. And yeah, he's there's still some areas he needs to work on um, when it comes to school and all that. But he, I don't know, he's just doing great. And I just love when everything is flowing. So I'm going to sh share like how we do homework and things I've been doing to help like more with homework and stuff like that. But I'll do that after we come back and after we watch our Halloween movie. And actually, no, I'll show y'all, I'll probably show y'all before because that's another thing like when we come home I tell him I'm like okay let's go ahead and get your homework out of the way so we can like be done and get it out the way so we'll do some of his homework like when we first get in here because it's like who wants to be worried about that after you've gotten comfortable and stuff like that so he'll have his snack or whatever but I want us to just focus on like the movie so uh or whatever activity we're going to do and yeah getting homework out of the way first thing is so nice but I'll get in more to that because it's like I'll get into more but let's go pick up my juicy baby you exactly how you dress for your body shape. I'm not talking about square, apple, triangle, hair. I'm talking about the physical features and curves of your body that help you to find outfits and clothing pieces that I feel All right, so she's still sleeping. Um, and I have a little bit of time right there. Those are clean dishes. It's just really nice when I'm able to touch on a little bit of everything. Um, because like as a stay at home mom, just my experience so like as a stay-at-home mom I was making sure that I was cooking cleaning well trying to make sure I, I was and it was like a lot of my day was taken up by trying to make sure everything was clean and making sure there was food cooked but I want to make sure like I'm spending more intentional time with my kids so my daughter and i've mentioned this in the past vlog like today we went outside and we picked some leaves and put them in a little sandwich bag we even um we read and we did i put on videos about like numbers one through ten and i was really focused on like numbers it's like when i'm able to hit different things accomplish different things touch on different things throughout the day then I feel good so if I'm able to do a little bit of cleaning some cooking um, laundry and then obviously reading getting down on the floor with my daughter making sure she's getting her one-on-one -on -one time and then again my son making sure we're spending time together because it's more it's like people I just feel like there's not really a balance you're we're just doing the best that we can and i feel like sometimes people are like oh you're home at home all day you should have this is what i'm thinking like other people might be thinking oh you're home all day you could have did x y and z but my daughter she likes to she likes to be with me and she'll grab my hand and she'll want to read a book or she'll want to play whatever it is um and i feel guilty if i'm not spending time with her so sometimes there might be times that i don't clean up everything that i wanted to clean or i might not get to cooking like last week we ate out a lot last week uh, and then like with me wanting to create content as well like it gets to be in a lot and I feel like I don't know I just get in my head when I'm not able to accomplish everything basically but um, 
I don't know, some weeks are better than others and I am able to do a little bit of everything in a day and I feel good. But it's like, oh, back to the thing about, oh, you're home all day, you could have cleaned all that or cooked all that, but not when you're trying to be present as a parent. Like, it's easy to cook and clean when you're ignoring your child or your children. So, yeah, I'm focused on being present with my kids. Um, yeah, yeah. I keep checking my email to see if that other um, order has shipped for one of my clients. And they're always like, there's this one skincare line that I carry, they're on top of it. They, the, it gets shipped like very quickly, like that same day. But this other skincare line I carry, they're definitely not as quick as uh, that skincare line that I'm talking about. I put my chai tea in the freezer um, so that I could bring it along with me to pick up. So yeah, it's been in the freezer for like maybe an hour or close to an hour, but it was already cold. So I think I'm gonna put everything in the car while she's still sleeping, but I have to wake her up and put her in her car seat. Tonight's dinner is pretty easy. Taco Tuesday, so it'll be burritos for me and my husband and a taco for my son because She was sleeping too good. Like, I think she's gonna fall back asleep. She might. But she's already been like sleeping forever. So we are back home grocery list because I pulled up to the Walmart, um, the Walmart pickup and the lady comes walking towards me saying that their system is down and they can't hand out groceries. So I'm gonna go back later, hopefully, or my husband's gonna have to go and pick it up. But she was back here, she's smiling now. But she was back here crying her eyes out, throwing goldfish that I was giving her in her water bottle. So let me get her out. Chai still going strong. Mama, hmm? now I remade my comics. You remade your comics? Yeah, I remade the picture. Oh, let me see. Nice. Let's go ahead and fix your homework. Let's go ahead and fix your homework because that's it's only one little thing that needs to be, well, a little thing that needs to be fixed. So. Um, sentence. Yeah, because. Like a whole thing. So for the groceries, I will have to call to see if they're available. What's wrong? What's wrong? I'll have to call them to see if they're if they're available for me to go pick them up. Hopefully they're ready before. Oh, I forgot to text my husband back. Where's my phone at? I don't know where my phone is right now. Let me get text my husband back. But my husband, he's gonna go to the gym and I would like to get them before he comes back from the gym so I can have dinner ready. But let me, let me find my phone and then I'll talk about the homework situation. So the client, they paid their, Mama. They paid their invoice so I am about to send Mama. over their skincare consent form. Consultation form is done and out the way by, well, it should be done and out the way by the time of her appointment. If it's not done at by the time of her appointment, then when she comes in for her appointment, she'll be 
filling out her consent form first and then we'll get into her treatment the treatment that she booked was the glow treatment so that is the dermaplane facial oh yeah but let me tell you about the homework real quick um so ever since kindergarten they've received oh, ever since kindergarten they've received all their homework at once for the week which is why is this not and so that makes it that makes it easy because uh we basically can break it up throughout the week i mean you should do that that's easy um, at first we were doing monday through wednesday but now we've started incorporating sunday for homework too um but yeah and so just to make it easier on yourself if you get all the homework at once too then break it up throughout the week and even on the weekends you can do that too if they have vocabulary words well i know they have vocabulary words but for the vocabulary words what i've done is i put on index cards the word and then on another index card the definition and i mix them all up and i tell grayson to match them together Yesterday, I had asked him his vocabulary words, and he knew like most of them, like the definition for most of them. So that was good, but there's still some that we need to work on, obviously, which we will. And then for spelling words, I'll ask him out loud how to spell the word, and he does very good with that. But I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start having him uh, write them down when. I uh, like call him out or whatever. And then his high frequency words, I have all the high frequency words on a packet back there that we were given. And I've been having him read them to see like if he knows them and he's known all of them so far. I actually should have him read some now um, because I haven't done that in a few days. It's also nice to break up the homework because like homework can be rough over here <laughs> it can get rough over here so it's like nice to do a little by little so that you can move on with your life all right so we were given this packet um this resource packet and it has all his high frequency words and a bunch of other resources on there so i've been going through to make sure that he knows his high frequency words yeah he has like three more pages of high frequency words and yeah he already knows like he'll probably know all these i think i'm gonna just go ahead and have him read all three pages and then tomorrow we'll start like on these spelling lists for the year okay, so what's this word many morning through very sweet. Eat colors down below. Don't build it. So a quick grocery haul. So we're back at home and Grayson put on the Muppets Haunted Mansion. And I'm gonna show y'all what I got and then start cooking. So, first we have some flaming Hot Popcorn because they love this. They even got Pretty Girl. Y'all know, moms know, parents know that popcorn is a choking hazard for little kids. And I told this man, I even told him when Grayson was a baby not to be giving him popcorn. But does he listen? No. But... So instead of popcorn, yeah. you do not hit me. So instead of popcorn for her, I've been getting popcorn in hopes that she's not giving popcorn. Corn, this is the, the cheese popcorn. And then I also got the cheddar 
popcorn. We have some Funfetti uh, cake mix, cupcake mix, cupcake mix because um, one of these days me and Grayson are going to decorate cupcakes. I gave him the option of donuts, cookies, or cupcakes and he chose cupcakes so got the cupcake mix. Doritos, this is for dinner tonight. I got my husband a pack of ginger ale. I think he's low on ginger ale, so yeah, I got him some ginger ale so that he has his drink. And I've been wanting sweets lately, so I got some of these Intamin's classic chocolate donuts. So good, so good. I feel like they have the best store-bought donuts, but if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you. Thank you. This is creamer. Thank you. So I got some French vanilla. Uh, I got a few creamers in here, but French vanilla creamer. It, because I haven't showed y'all my Nespresso order, but French vanilla creamer. Thank you. And then I have the frosted sugar cookie creamer because I see this, people posting about this a lot. So I decided, okay, let me try this out and see what it's about. But International Delight, every time I try their creamers, there's like this underlying taste. I don't know what it is, so I'm really hoping this is good because I've been searching everywhere for this because I, everybody's been hyping this up. Some oat milk because the oat milk in the refrigerator is expired and Grayson uh, has cereal here and I want him to be able to eat the cereal with milk and uh, coffee or chai. Thank you. What are these? These are strawberries? Strawberries. Then I got a small pack of strawberries. Okay, let me rinse it off. She loves strawberries. Everybody loves strawberries, but she loves strawberries too. So I'm gonna rinse it off. I just give it to her whole sometimes and she be sitting there eating it like an apple. So yeah, strawberries. So next I have tortillas and yeah, these are for dinner tonight. Shredded lettuce for dinner tonight. Queso for dinner tonight. Got some sour cream and then frosting for the cupcakes whenever we make the cupcakes. And then some Rotel, the mild Rotel. Got a small carton of eggs because we always need eggs. And then some chicken thighs. The bone in was like a dollar less, so I decided to get the bone in. But yeah, we always, chicken is always a good idea. Yeah, let me get started on dinner. I wish I would have just already had this stuff so that I could watch the movie too. Um, Mom, there's donuts. Yes, you can have one after dinner because I'm about to start on dinner. Yes, this is what I'm making today. It's basically a crunch wrap supreme. It seems like Grayson didn't want the whole thing last time, so he's just gonna have a soft taco. Oh, there's a ghost of Kermit. The ghost of Kermit? Yeah. Oh, it's a ghost of Kermit. Yeah. Well, he has a mustache. Yeah, I see. It's not that Kermit's dad. <laughs> I'm not going to 